Welcome back to Top Tier Sports. I'm Victor. I'm here with you to do our weekend recap. You would think it's March with how much madness has been going on lately in the world of sports. Uh, I'm just so excited that I'm the one who gets to be here to do it with you. So without further ado, let's jump right in because we got a lot to talk about. Um, first, we'll start with baseball. Nothing really in the MLB uh, to talk about that I want to get into right now. We'll leave that for Spencer on Friday. But college, a Duke pitcher had the first perfect game in the franchise history for Duke. Uh, absolutely amazing feat. Congrats to him. Um, and this will probably be the best sports moment of his life, if not easily top three. So really cool that he was able to accomplish that, and even cooler that it goes down as the first for Duke. Um, so he'll forever be etched in their history. On to the NBA. Uh, not too much to talk about in the NBA. However, one main thing, the Bucks have already clinched playoffs. Uh, they currently have a 28-game lead over ninth place in the East. So, absolutely incredible. I believe they're at 48 wins on the year. And I think I saw a stat that said they're the second fastest or one of the fastest to ever reach uh, a guaranteed playoff berth as in fewest games into the season. So, really cool for them. Uh, they've been absolutely dominant, one of the best defenses we've seen um, in a long, long time, and just one of the most dominant teams that we've seen. On to the XFL and NFL. Um, the XFL, we got to experience the first kickoff return this past week. Uh, it was the St. Louis Battlehawks. They did a little reverse on the kickoff uh, as the guy just started to break to his left, pitched it. His teammate came around flying to the right. Um, like one of those Battle Hawks do. And ultimately, it was a really cool play. It looked like something just out of NFL Street. I hope we get to see more of these plays down the road. Um, and yeah, really like the kickoff format in the XFL. We've now seen a kickoff return for a touchdown already, and a lot less injuries look like they're happening so far. As far as the NFL goes, I just want to say that in a future Wednesday episode, a special video, Upcoming in either two or three weeks from now, we will do a whole video on breaking down the QB situation for the offseason uh, prior to, we want to do that prior to the draft, of course, uh, because that has some input on it. So, now, time for the NHL, uh, where so much has happened the past week, and it's been absolutely incredible. Dave Ayers, how can we not talk about this guy? How can he not be the main storyline? Because for those of you who haven't seen yet, he just made history uh, in probably the one of the greatest moments of his life. For those of you at home who are not diehard NHL fans, you're at this moment going, who the hell is Dave Ayers? Well, Dave Ayers was a Zamboni driver for the Toronto uh, Furies, which is uh, not, of course, their NHL team, but a different team there in Toronto. So um, he is the emergency goalie, as we've seen in the past. Teams have this emergency goalie. So the two goalies um, for either team in the game, not so the start and the backup for either team, uh, the host site, whoever is hosting the game, uh, the home team for the game, has to provide an emergency goalie for either team, um, whoever needs him. And they have day jobs. They're pretty much just there for this. Um, and we very rarely see it. I believe in the new era, we've seen this three times now with Scott Foster being the most recent one for the Blackhawks before this. However, the interesting thing here, <clears throat> sorry, is that Dave Ayers did not suit up for the Maple Leafs, but instead for their opponent uh, playing on the road in Toronto that night, the Hurricanes. And he recorded the first ever win for an emergency goalie. The guy had over an 800 save percentage. He... Gets, he gave up a goal pretty early, and you saw some of the Hurricanes players go over to him, and they were just like, hey, we don't care how many goals you give up. Just have fun here. Like, this is your moment to have fun. We don't, like, enjoy it. And after that, he settled down. Uh, he had over an 800 save percentage, as I said before. He's the first emergency goalie to get a win. Um, the Hurricanes were going absolutely nuts. The guys in the stands, aside from seeing their... Leafs at home lose had to be going nuts um, and all around just a really really cool experience something that Brett pointed out to me that I wanted to bring up is that his 800 save percentage in his period and a half that he played as he came in uh, 
before the halfway point in the second period is better than up roughly five different games uh, that a Toronto Maple Leafs goalie has had in that arena on the year. So already his game as uh, playing just over the majority of the game as an emergency goalie has been better than some of the games that actual Maple Leafs goalies have had this year, which may be the reason that he is uh, now practicing with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maybe it's just a one-time thing to kind of congratulate him and get to recognize what he did. Um, But yeah, we'll see. Maybe that was his moment to shine. Other notes from around the league, Connor McDavid uh, is returning after a six game absence. He returned, had a three point night last night uh, against the Ducks, I believe. So congrats to him. Always love to see the best players in the game uh, on the ice, not recovering from injury. So for a guy that has had to deal with some minor and major injuries already at 22 years old or 23 years old now, it's really cool to see that he's back already um, and should be good to go for possibly an Oilers playoff run. Who knows? They're in the push. They're actually in third right now in the Pacific, I believe. Other uh, notes I want to highlight, just some quick trades. Ilya Kovalchuk, after being dominant uh, with the Habs for the few games he's been there, uh, or roughly the 10 to 20 games he's been there, was traded to the Washington Capitals for a third round pick. Um, Tro- Vincent Trocheck was traded from the Florida Panthers to the Carolina Hurricanes, and um, JG Pajot was traded from the Ottawa Sanders to the New York Islanders for a boatload of picks um, in conditions, of course. But I'm not going to get into that too much more. I am going to wrap it up here this Wednesday. Pay attention, um, everybody. This Wednesday, we will have it. Our special video will be myself or Brett or both covering all the trades leading up to the NHL trade deadline because, of course, the deadline is later today. I'll The deadline will finish roughly just after this video is released. So we want to go further in depth into those on Wednesday. We will see you then. Thank you for tuning in to Top Chair Sports on the Beer League Bench Talk. And make sure you like, comment, smash that subscribe button. And please check out our Twitter because we are going to be a lot more active. Also, I don't know how I almost forgot, congrats to Alexander Ovechkin on his 700th goal. Uh, It took him roughly six games to get from that 698 to that 700 mark, but he does it in style, and all his teammates went out to congratulate him. Awesome moment for Alexander Ovechkin, uh, even though it happened on a way ice in New Jersey. So, we will see you guys on Wednesday.